I am nervous about this one. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. It is time for another round of Have I Read It? So stay tuned. So if you watched my video that posted just two days prior to this, you know that I have changed things up a little bit with my Have I Read It? series. And I am no longer going to be selecting six books from each video. Uh, I'm not, well, what I'm doing is I'm letting you vote on each one of these videos, which book you think I should read. And I will add that to my TBR when I film my Wheel of TBR. And you'll get to see which book wins when I do my Wheel of TBR. Um, and so they're going to be more than one of these each month. This month there will just be the, the two, uh, but in future months there may be three or four of these videos. Uh, I'm just starting off gentle on myself. But last video I reacted to my August 2018 regular book haul, just like it's been with the rest of my Have I Read It series. But today, I'm going to be reacting to my very first book outlet haul video that I did on this channel. And this was October of 2017, so almost four years ago. And guys, I'm nervous. <laughs> this thumbnail, I am holding two giant, giant boxes. Let's see uh, how this goes. So I have my earbuds in, pulling up the video now. All right, let's begin. Hey guys, today I have two boxes from Book Outlet wow. to unbox for you. And I'm so excited to open them. The quality. <laughs> oh yeah, in my old channel name, because this was before I changed to completely Melanie. Let's get started. We have paper. 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 Okay, so the first thing in this box, I actually forgot I had ordered this, is this super cute little teddy bear from Book Outlet. I think my teddy bear's packed away so somewhere. My bookshelf. And it's so soft. And it's adorable. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the first book we have in the box is called Illusion. Okay, so this one was told. Uh, let me see. I can't remember who that's by. It's funny that I actually have that book sitting on my table over here because I'm recommending it to somebody. Uh, but it's by, let's see if I can see. Oh, there we go. Claudia Gable and Cheryl Clam. And this is like a virtual reality type thing. I read it. I read the sequel as well. Really enjoyed them. Continuing on. And then... The second book is called Ether World. Oh, okay. I've read that. <laughs> Continuing. The next book is um, Delirium Stories, Hannah, Annabelle, Raven, and Alex. And that's by Lauren Oliver. I know I've read the Delirium series, but I can't remember if I actually read this little novella. Hold on. Okay, it doesn't look like I actually read them. I did read the trilogy. I just didn't read the little uh, novella. All right, well, let me grab that. Okay, so I have this here. To be honest, I don't know how interested I am in actually reading this because I look back at my review for the Delirium series and the first book I gave four stars. I really enjoyed it. The second book, I said I gave it three and a half stars. I didn't enjoy it as much as the first, but I did really enjoy it, and I wanted to continue. And then the third, I didn't even write a review. I just did three stars. And I don't remember anything about them. <laughs> so I might have to, if, if I were to read this, I might have to reread the series, to be honest. Uh, but this is short stories about these four characters. Alright, so that is the first book in this video you can vote for. Let's see what else we got. And then we have Acid. Okay, 
I think I've read this, but I'm not entirely sure. So let me check. Yes, I have read it and I gave it four stars. Oh, and in my review, I said uh, it was really fun to listen to. I found it on Scribd uh, and in, I enjoyed it because it has different formats like Sadie by Courtney Summers. And it also reminded me a little bit of Delirium by Lauren Oliver. All right. Continuing on. Next we have, and this again was something else that I just clicked on, but it is called Something Red by Douglas Nicholas. And I unhauled this. Like, I, I was not into it at all. I started reading it and DNF'd it and got rid of it. Next we have The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. I have read The Bane Chronicles. <laughs> Continuing on. Next in here we have Blood Magic. That's by Tessa Gratton and I don't think I have read that. Let me check. No, I have not. So let me grab that. Here we go. This says, it starts off simply. Draw a circle, place a dead leaf in the center, sprinkle some salt, recite a little Latin, and a drop of blood. Maybe that last part isn't exactly simple, yet somehow it feels right to Scylla Kinnicott. And nothing in her life has felt remotely right since her parents' horrific deaths. She's willing to do anything to uncover the truth about her family, even try a few spells from the mysterious book that arrived on her doorstep, and spill some blood. And that's all I'm going to read about that. But there we go. That is the next book that can be voted for. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, next we have Nameless, A Tale of Beauty and Madness. And this is from Lily St. Crow, who's the author of the Strange Angel series. I really wanted to read that because it's like a... A Snow White retelling. I really wanted to enjoy it. I just I couldn't get into that book and I ended up DNFing it like a hundred I think a hundred and something pages into it and I unhauled it. And then we have Dreamland by Robert L. Anderson. I don't think I have read that. Let me go grab that. I've had some of these so long that I don't even remember the slightest bit about these uh, and this is one of those. It's an interesting feeling cover. It's almost plasticky feeling. This says, Odea Donahue has been able to travel through people's dreams since she was six years old. Her mother taught her the three rules of walking. Never interfere, never be seen, never walk to the same person's dream more than once. That's all I'm gonna read about this one. So Dreamland is our next competitor. All right, what's next? The next thing I got is The Air by Kira Cass. I have read The Air. On to the next box. In this box, we have paper. 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 You know, I do have to say, they do good at packaging all this stuff so that it doesn't come all damaged. Okay. So the first thing in my box is Dorothy Must Die Stories. And this is No Place Like Home, The Witch Must Burn, The Wizard Returns. It's those novellas by Danielle Page. I have read that twice <laughs> or three times, something like that. Next we have Stars Above, The Lunar Chronicles Collection by Marissa Meyer. I have not read Stars Above, but I haven't read Winter. I think I've only gotten through, I don't know, whatever comes right before Winter. I think that was the last thing I read. So I can't put Stars Above up here because you have to read Winter first. Uh, so I'm going to put Winter instead. Okay, so Winter is the fourth book uh, fourth official book. There is a novella before this called Fairest, so technically this is the fifth book, but uh, 
Ferris was the last one that I read and I pulled up on Goodreads their synopsis of the overall series so I could tell you that uh, but it is like full of retelling characters uh, the first book is Cinder which is like a Cinderella thing uh, Marissa Meyer's Lunar Chronicles is a New York Times bestselling series of young adult novels that reimagine classic fairy tales in a futuristic world where humans, androids, and cyborgs exist. In the first book, a teenage cyborg named Cinder deals with her wicked stepmother, finds love, and discovers secrets about herself. As the series continues, Cinder forges an alliance with Scarlet, a spaceship pilot, Cress, an imprisoned computer hacker, and Winter, a lunar princess. Along with a diverse crew that includes a soldier, a criminal, a royal guard, they must work together to rise up against the evil Queen Levana to save the country and possibly even the world. And Ferris was sort of like Levana's origin story, and I really didn't enjoy it. I, I did enjoy the first three books in the series, but I then I read Ferris and I never ended up getting around to winter. I think because of how I was feeling about Ferris. And this one's a chunker. <laughs> so let's see. This one's a, oh my goodness. This is 823 pages. <laughs> this is a big book. But it is our next contender. And if this was all we had, I'm pretty sure I know exactly which one my friend Clint would be voting for because he has recently read the entire Lunar Chronicles and absolutely loved it. So I'm sure he would vote for Winter. Alrighty, what else do we have? And then the only other thing I have in this box ugh, is the entire Lunar Chronicles box set. And oh, 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 so excited, so excited, oh my gosh. We have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Winter, and Ferris. Okay, <laughs> so that was the last, is that what I said? That was the last thing in that box? Hold on. And then the only other thing I have in this box ugh, is the entire Lunar Chronicles box set. Yeah, that was the last thing in that box. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it. This is, this is what I have to choose from for this particular video. I was expecting that haul to be so much bigger than it actually was uh, because it was those two massive boxes. But we have Delirium Stories, Blood Magic, Dreamland, and Winter. So you get to vote which of these four will be going on to my TBR for August. So comment down below which one you want to vote for and I will select the book that gets mentioned the most like in the the most times in the comments. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this click that subscribe button down below and until next time remember to always be completely you. Bye!